All those tubes, they, they don't hurt him? He isn't in any pain. Watching these sweet little babies probably reminds you of your own loss. Louise will be home someday. I just hope Britt is saying the same thing to Sasha and Brando about their baby. I know how difficult these last few days have been for you. It'll be all worth it if you're here to tell us that we can take Liam home today. That is why you're here, right? I'm sorry. Liam won't be going home with you today. So tomorrow, then? Yeah, or the day after. Let's start first with the results of Liam's EEG. I'm so sorry. The tests indicate Liam has brain damage. Is there anything you can tell me about Liam's condition that doesn't breach HIPAA? I'm afraid not. Yeah, that's okay. I'm sure Brando and Sasha will tell me. I'm gonna stick around here just for moral support. I think that's a really bad idea. Brain, brain damage. Are you sure? I mean, don't these tests have a margin of error? You know that Liam's brain was deprived of oxygen during the placental abruption. Yes, and you thought that a cooling treatment would help give his brain a chance to recover from the trauma for 72 hours. Which was up this morning. So the doctors took an EEG, and that test indicates the levels of Liam's brain activity. And? And the EEG test results indicate that Liam has little to no activity in his brain. Little or no brain activity, what does that even mean? Liam has no cognitive function or motor function. He has no capacity to think or grow. His life can only be sustained through machinery. I am so, so sorry. I mean, well, can't we try the cooling therapy again? That should help, right? The outcome would be the same. <laughs> yeah, you know if you don't try. Brando, Sasha. The tests show an almost complete lack of brain activity. The cooling blanket won't change that. Mm -hmm. But there must be some other therapy that will, right? Yeah. What about what about surgery? Unfortunately, there's nothing more that we can do for Liam. Brando and Sasha, 